Hello, welcome back to Python programming. In this video, we are going to start the unit 2. So, in the unit 2, these are all the syllabus. So, first uh, three parts. Here also, this unit 2 consists of three parts. The first part is case study. So, in the case study, there are Turchill model, simple repetition, encapsulation, generalization, interface design, refactoring and dog string. So, next second part is conditional sign recursion. So, in this conditionals and recursion, they are, these are all the topic. Float division and modulus, Boolean expressions, logical operators, conditional execution, alternative execution, chain conditional, nested conditionals, recursion, infinite, recursion, keyboard input. Next one is fruitful function. So, return values, incremental development, composition, Boolean functions, more recursion, leap of faith, checking time. So, this is the small, small unit. Uh, we can define uh, each and every in a just uh, half half page of the PPT. So here first we will see about the case study. So this case study uh, again we will see once again case study. So these are all the case study turtle model, simple repetition, encapsulation, generalization, interface design, refactoring and dog string. So we will start the case study. So first what is meant by turtle model. In Python turtle is a module which allows you to create images using turtle graphics. So how to use turtle model. So this is the use of turtle model. Uh, to work with turtle model we follow the following steps. So first one you have to import. Second one create. Then draw around using the turtle methods run. So these are all the four modules which is need to work with turtle. So to check whether you whether you have the turtle model, open the Python interpreter and type import turtle bob is equal to turtle dot turtle. When we when we uh, do these two steps, uh, when we run these two steps in the interpreter, it should create uh, the new window will be open and with small arrow that represents the turtle. So turtle, what is the main use of turtle mean? It shows the graphics. Uh, graphics uh, of uh, images like here what I mentioned the uh, line is nothing but it defines the arrow mark so create a file named my polygon dot py so uh, generally we are we, you all know well known about that uh, python file is created with extension dot py and type in the following code so import turtle bob is equal to turtle dot capital T turtle so print bob so then uh, turtle dot main loop the turtle module which will lowercase t provides a function called turtle with an uppercase t that creates a turtle object so lowercase t what is this turtle defines the function and this is this defines the uh, uh, creates a turtle object what we want so which we assign to a variable named bob so bob is nothing but normal variable name here we can uh, represent any type of name uh, so this is the printing bob display something like that so next coming coming to the second one next one is simple repetition so how the repetition will be performed the same the action repeatedly performing the same action repeatedly is called simple repetition for example let us consider a square or rectangle to draw these are all the following steps to be performed repeatedly so we are taking the variable as bob is common so bob dot fd so 100 bob dot it so these are all some of the uh, methods to be follow in the interpreter the above steps can be reduced using simple repetition statement for us so uh, when these statements if you want to write these all statements we can uh, reduce these uh, one two three four five six seven statements we can reduce it in this way for i is if i are i is generally in the c language we will define for i is equal to zero i less than four i plus plus then how what what will be happen zero to four will be incremented for that same only we we'll go for i in range of four in i already told that uh, in the keyword which we define uh, in means uh, how many repetitions we want so that's why i is i in range of four so four times it will executes so that is nothing but simple repetition next coming to the encapsulation means this word you already know that this word is nothing but combining all into a single entity so wrapping a piece of code up in a function is called encapsulation the benefits of encapsulation are it attaches a name to the code we can reuse the code we can call a function instead of copy and paste the word for example code to drawing the square this is the code so define square 
of t for i in range of uh, 4 t dot f d of 100 t dot i t of 90 so bob is equal to turtle dot turtle square bob so this is the uh, wrapping we will define the wrapping a piece of code in a function uh, wrapping means combining wrapping is nothing but a combining all the, into a single line so that's we can call it as a this is a single line which we need to define the encapsulation so this is nothing but we can call it as a uh, four lines can be written in this single line this is known as encapsulation next generalization adding a parameter to a function is called generalization so because it makes the function more general in the previous version the square is always the same size in this version it can be any size so that's uh, with this with these four statements define uh, square of t comma length for i in range of 4 t dot f d of length t dot i t of 90 so with this uh, entire code we will write this way square, square uh, bob is equal to turtle dot turtle uh, so turtle means creating an object this turtle means function square of bob comma 100 so this we will get the generalization as adding the parameter to a function so bob comma 100 in this uh, we define this all encapsulating in the single entity in this we will define the square to, to be generalized so this is a generalization and follow the following also one of the generalization way here is the solution defining here i am taking the polygon with t comma n comma length length the number of uh, time uh, sorry uh, uh, n number of uh, parameters instead of drawing squares polygon draws regular polygon with number of sides so here is a solution uh, so angle is equal to 360 by n so this is the angle so for this code we will write this one like polygon bob comma 7 comma 70 will display the generalize uh, sorry polygon this is about generalization next coming to the interface design the interface of a function is summary of how it is used what are the parameters what does the function do and what is the return value an interface is clean if it allows the caller to do what they want without deleting uh, dealing with unnecessary details for example right circle which takes a radius or as a parameter here is a simple solution that uses polygon to draw a 50 sided polygon so here the, this is a uh, syntax importing a mathematical operator and defining circle so t comma uh, radius and circumference is equals to 2 star math dot pi star radius or uh, n is equals to 50 length is equals to circumference by n so polygon t comma not only this we can uh, write any way any interface so whenever the circle which takes a radius here uh, this is a way why because here we are using the mathematical operators for that i am taking this circumference and all on all this so this is about interface design next coming to the refactoring a process of rearranging a program to improve interfaces and facilitate code reuse is called refactoring so rearranging a program to improve the interface rearranging so same uh, so same this uh, if we take this all these lines can be executed in these two lines defining circle comma t comma r and finally you can rewrite circle to use arc define so this is the arc t comma r comma 360 so this is the refactoring next coming to the doc string and it, this is the last one which defines document string is nothing but a doc string is a uh, string at the beginning of a function that explains the interface doc is short for documentation so documentation string it is uh, it is a string at the beginning of a function that explains every interface here is a an example we take define polygon polyline t comma n comma length t number of sides length uh, angle draws an n line segments with the given length angle uh, angle in degrees with, between them so generally every in every syntax t is nothing but a turtle for i in range of n t dot t is a function uh, the turtle dot uh, f d n of length i t of angle so this is we can define number of n number of documentation strings so n line n number of line segments will define so this is about uh, case study uh, what is all what the, uh, what all the case study uh, in the turtle so we will use the function one of the main function so as a turtle model so every in every encapsulation or a refactoring or some docs documentation string uh, generalization all in all these the turtle is very useful to create the graphics to create the new windows where what the user needs so this is about 
case study of the first part of unit 2. So, hope you all understood about this. Uh, in the next part, we will see the second part. In the next video, we will see the second part. So, thank you. Thank you so much.